is the Rage. The cutting edge of high performance motoring for those who dare. Adrenaline on the water. Hold on, it's a ride on the wild side. No wimps allowed. It's time for Extreme Marine. This weekend is a culmination of probably six to eight months of being on the internet. People from all over the country coming. They're expecting somewhere in the, in the vicinity of around 100 boats. That's not gonna be running, but that's just boats to come out and watch, people to spectate, see what's up. And you got about five boats that are gonna be in the money. It means a lot. It means bragging rights for who's the fastest, who's the baddest, and who can actually say they run 135 or 140. This is bragging rights, you know. Just a few people pursue their passion this deep in a hobby. And if you take these boats and go back to where they boat, they're the fastest thing on the lake. They're the talk of the town. Everybody points at this is the guy who's got the fastest boat we've ever heard of. Some of these guys are probably going to itch close to in the 150 mile an hour mark today if the weather cooperates and their equipment cooperates. From what I've seen, I think there may be some boats faster than some of these drivers feel like driving them. We've run this boat 135 several times. And I haven't driven the boat in a while. It's been sitting up. As cool as it is this morning, we ought to make some good horsepower. It ought to run at least that, plus some. The excitement that's generated by running that fast, first of all, it's dangerous as hell. If this boat got away from me at that kind of speed, the boat's going to go to pieces. And it could cause serious injury, even death. I'll be disappointed if I can't run in the mid-130s with this boat right here. Showdown's gonna be today. We're gonna find out where the rubber meets the road, and who's got the fastest boat, and who's got the biggest mile. Armed with high-performance river rockets, these weekend warriors have traveled from across the country to Central Florida's Swanee River to compete in what they call the high-speed shootout. The prize? Bragging rights. And to these guys, that's better than any trophy. They told us yesterday there's no speed limit, so as long as nobody's doing anything reckless, I, I think we'll be okay. I think they want to watch it. Although this is not a sanctioned event, and these are not professional drivers, the personal safety requirements are high and mandatory for each driver making a pass. Hank Hogan of Milledgeville, Georgia, has decided that he's not only up to the task, but is anxious to be the first to run. The first pass I made up river was a kind of a get adjusted pass. And I went approximately 136, they said. But I knew my boat had more, but I wasn't used to the environment yet. Dennis Votola of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, follows with a textbook pass. His top speed, 138.2 miles per hour. Second pass, I had to lay down a bigger number than what I had because I wasn't out front at the time. So I knew I was going to let the high go with the hair. I was going to turn that boat loose. I, if the hair lipped, hell. So I nailed it, and the boat got swirly as hell. In fact, it got up off the water briefly and settled back down during that pass. Oh, I look at those pictures and I see the tumbling and the skipping across that water, and I wonder how I survived. It's just a miracle. Uh, the good Lord was looking out to me that day because you generally don't survive a crash going that fast, but I don't know how in the world I survived. He's lucky. Came up, puff of wind, caught it, blew it over backwards. He's probably running 130 when it happened. And no broken bones and no internal injuries. That's, that's all you can ask for. He probably skidded 225, 250 feet on the water, which helped. The sudden stops is what really gets you. These boats don't like wind, and they will get you in trouble when they get into it. The boat actually sank. They uh, 
the tree that hooked the rope to the front of the boat, pulled it back to the top of the water, and got some of the water out of it, and headed back to shore with it. Had to pull it up on the bank, the actual dirt, and uh, let the water drain out the back. And people wouldn't have been around. It would sunk. Nobody seen it again. It's an obsession coupled with a sickness. <laughs> and uh, something I do, I, I love it. And it's just, I can't get it out of my system, and this crash is not going to do it. I'm coming back for more. Extreme Marine, the series.